Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Story Corner with Miss Paulino. Today we are reading M is for Melody, a musical alphabet. A is for anthem and we are so proud. It's our national song and we sing it loud. B is for brass. Do you hear the sound swell as it flows through the tubing and out through the bell? With trombones and trumpets that shiver and shine, cornets and tubas and French horns are fine. Um -pa -pa, um -pa -pa. C is for conductors waving in the air. They direct the music with a special flair. And C is for composer. Have you heard of Bach? A composer writes the music from classical to rock. Now D is for the drum majors. Do you think they're grand? As they march on down the street as leaders of the band. D is also for dynamic. It tells you how to play. Piano means to play it soft. For loud, we say forte. Now E is for early music very long ago. Medieval, Renaissance, and Baroque are three kinds you should know. Bravo, bravo. F is for folk song, and we like to say it's the music of people. Which one shall we play? The letter G is for guitar. You strum or play with picks. Some guitars have 12 strings. Others just have six. H is for harmony. It sounds very fine when two or more notes are played at the same time. And I is for instrument. Which one will you play? When you join the band, you'll have fun every day. Practice makes perfect. Now J is for jazz. It's a cool music style. It's a blend of our cultures and it makes us smile. There's Dixie and blues. There's big band and swing. Jazz started it all and that's why it's king. Can you scat? Let's try, cool cat. Yibbity doobity skip skip ba doo. K is for keyboard. Do you see the keys? When you play with your hands, you tickle the ivories. Pianos, organs, harpsichords, synthesizers too. All are keyboards we can play. I will try, will you? An L is for lullaby, a lovely song for sleep. Shall we go to bed, my dear? Hush, don't make a peep. The letter M is for melody. A tune is what we hear when music notes are played in line and flow into our ear. An M is also meter. You can be a music star when you learn the basic pace is four beats in a bar. One, two, three, and four. Now N is for note. Can you follow along with the notes on the staff of your favorite song? Each note fills a space or sits right on a line. The spaces spell face, the lines spell every good boy does fine. An O is for the orchestra, where people play as one. Woodwinds, strings, percussion, and brass. It sounds like so much fun. Encore, encore, please play one more. P is for percussion. Come and move your feet. It makes you feel like dancing when percussion gives the beat. Kettle drums are timpani, bells and cymbals grand. Find yourself some pots and pans and make a kitchen band. The letter Q is for quartet. It means the number four. For singers or for players, it's a form we all adore. Duet means two, quintet means five, a trio means there are three, solo means all by yourself. It's easy as can be. R is for rhythm. Can you feel the beat as it flows through our fingers and into the street? And R is for ragtime, a hit for our nation. Just drag out a beat and it's called syncopation. S is for strings. They can play fast or slow. Just pluck at them neatly or draw with your bow. And T is for tempo. It's the pace we must go. Allegro means fast and lento means slow. U is for unison. At the same time, let's all sing together and it will sound fine. The letter V is for voice, so let the music ring. Our voice is our own instrument. We play it when we sing. Now W is for the woodwinds. They are shaped like hollow poles. When the air flows through the tube, it comes out through the holes. Doot, doot. 
The woodwinds are a family, and we must not forget piccolo, flute, oba, bassoon, English horn, and clarinet. X begins with xylophone. I'm sure you understand that all you need to play it is a mallet in your hand. Up and down the scale I go, a little fast, a little slow. Now Y is for yodel. We sing without words and make high and low noises. It's neat. Have you heard? And Z is for zither, a flat box with strings. You strum them or pluck them. You do many things. And Z is for zither, a flat box with strings. You strum them or pluck them. You do many things. Now here's the end of our musical spree. So please share your music with love, A to Z. I hope you enjoyed the book. See you next week for another edition of Story Corner with Miss Paulino. The end.